Hello friends, welcome to another advanced vinyasa flow. When we're ready, we start in the beginning of our mat in Tadasana. Inhaling, reaching up to the sky, exhaling, lowering down to Uttanasana. Inhale halfway through, sending the right leg back, finding the right knee all the way down. Inhale, reach up to high lunge. Exhale, hands down, left leg goes back, find your Chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog, exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze between the hands, jump or float forward. Inhale, halfway through, exhale all the way down to Uttanasana. Inhale, bend the knees, reach all the way up to sky. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, reach up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, lower down to Uttanasana all the way. Inhale, halfway through, place the hands, jump. Or float forward, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze between the hands, jump or float forward. Inhale, halfway through. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bend the knees, reach all the way up to sky. Exhale, hands to heart, center. Inhale, a gentle. Back bend, reaching up. Exhale, lowering all the way, head to down. Inhale, halfway through. Place the hands, reaching back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling, bending the knees, gazing between the hands, floating or jumping forward. Halfway through. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bend the knees, reach all the way up to sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower down to Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway through, sending the left leg back. Left knee finds the ground, reaching up to your high lunge. Inhale, with exhalation, hands down, right hand comes, right leg goes back, find your plank. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last one. Inhale, bending the knees, gazing between the hands, jumping or floating forward. Inhale, halfway through. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bend the knees, reach all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands into heart, center. Inhale, reach up, exhale, lower down to Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway through, float to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left tricep for five. We stay here for three, two, one. Left leg up. Inhale, exhale. Bring the left knee over the left elbow for Kundinyasana. Lift the right leg up. Gaze forward. Inhale, jump to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up, exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, lift the right leg up, exhale, right knee to left tricep. Inhale, right leg up, right leg, right knee, right tricep for hold for five, four, three, two, one, right leg up, inhale, with exhalation, right leg comes to Kundinyasana B, lift the left leg up, gaze forward, jump to Chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exit, downward facing dog, inhale, lift the left leg up, 
exhale bring the left leg between the hands reaching up to second warrior all the way up inhale exhaling to right heel skandhasana again inhale reach to second warrior exhale right heel skandhasana inhale second warrior exhale right heel skandhasana lower the hip down place the left leg back, left hand back reach to reverse triangle as much as you can pushing the ground opening the chest exhale lowering down reaching back again to second warrior and then gently coming to Ardha Chandrasana lifting the right leg up half moon and right hand up don't touch the floor with the left hand stay up keep the hips square and then from here gently bend the left knee come to second warrior again reaching forward placing your left hand down this time for paravidra for side angle for three two the last breath right hand comes down and then i put it all ten toes to left side lifting the left hand up pushing the ground as much as i can inhale with exhalation i go all the way back to right heel skandhasana lower the hip down reaching to second warrior again coming to ardha chandrasana right leg reaches up i don't touch the floor keep my feet active gently coming the right leg down finding my malasana on the front of my mat and from here hands down lifting the knees up placing them behind the triceps reaching for bakasana for five four three two one and jumping to chaturanga inhaling up dog exhaling to downward facing dog inhale and exhale inhale lift the right leg up and exhale take the right leg between the hands reaching up for your second warrior chest up inhale with exhalation left heel skandhasana inhale second warrior exhale skandhasana inhale second warrior exhale skandhasana lower the hip down place the right hand behind push the hip up for reverse triangle four two one gently lowering the hip down finding your second warrior again this time reaching forward and finding your Ardha Chandrasana right hand is not coming to the ground find your balance keep the left leg active gently bend the right knee come back to your second warrior again and lower to left heel skandhasana now move forward place your left hand to the next of your next to your right foot and pivot all ten toes finding the twist with the inner thighs keep the hip up just lift it to the right side one more breath and exhaling to left heel skandhasana all the way down reaching back again to second warrior and finding your Ardha Chandrasana here gently going up I don't have too much space so it's getting difficult but if you don't have too much space too that's perfect bend the right knee come to your second warrior go all the way to your left heel Skandhasana reach back to your second warrior place your right hand down to your paravitra lean to your right shoulder lift the left hand up inhale exhale inhale exhale and again left hand comes down pivot all ten toes to right lift the right hand up again inhale 
exhalation coming to left heel skandhasana moving to right heel skandhasana coming to left heel skandhasana reaching to second warrior one more time ardha chandrasana half moon left leg reaches up right hand reaches down and then gently come to your malasana sink the hip down for a couple of breaths maybe even close your eyes for two for one very nice now knees to triceps lifting on top of the toes placing your hands down coming to your bakasana for five four three two one and gently chaturanga inhale up dog exhale to downward facing dog for one breath we are here very nice inhale lift the left leg up exhale bring it between the hands reaching up for your high lunge inhale up exhale twist to left but active twist palms facing down now palms up reaching towards your right leg with your left hand leaning back and lifting the chest up inhale and exhale one more breath in with exhalation gently lowering the left hand down and finding our trikonasana left hand finds the ground towards the left foot right hand reaches up and I am in my trikonasana again right hand swings down I'm twisting my right hip, right foot and I'm finding my lunge foot and reaching towards my right leg with my left hand as much as I can leaning back and from here again I find my position to my trikonasana and I bow down to my trikonasana lifting my right hand up lifted my chest inhale with exhalation right hand rolls all the way down finding my mat I pivot my ten toes forward and gently coming to the outer edge grabbing the left big toe with the left hand if you want you can reach the leg forward maybe if you want to send it all the way up send it all the way up or if you want to stay somewhere bottom stay somewhere bottom for three more two more one more and then gently bring the left leg down find your high lunge again inhale up with exhalation right heel skandhasana sinking down and reaching forward for the second warrior on the left heel and from here finding our high lunge again coming to the front inhale exhaling hands down left leg goes back find your plank pose exhale to chaturanga inhale up dog exhale to downward facing dog for one more breath inhale right leg up exhale take it between the hands reaching up for your high lunge all the way reach inhale with exhalation active twist palms down chest towards right and now leaning back finding your chest lifting up and leaning back towards your left foot inhale and exhale one more inhale and exhale second inhalation we come to the center to the three konasana feet and then exhalation we lower the right hand down finding our three konasana here for one breath and again 
We swing the feet, hands, finding first the high lunge feet, and then right hand reaches back, finding its lengthening towards the left foot. Left foot is active, chest is lifting up for one more breath. And then gently coming up to three konasana position and then bowing towards the three konasana for three, two, one, gently left hand goes all the way down, bending both knees, pivoting the toes, grabbing the right big toe with the right hand, either you reach the feet leg forward or you can lift it up all the way to the sky for three, two, one, I'm also shaking today, right leg finds the ground and I go onto my left heel, Skandasana, slowly rolling in and then again moving forward, placing my hands forward, sending the right leg back, finding my plank, exhaling Chaturanga, inhaling up dog, exhaling down dog, gently placing the knees down, sitting on the heels, untuck the toes, find a nice position in your hero, Close your eyes and allow all the movement of the practice to become more subtler and become more inner sensation. Thank you for practicing and staying with me in this advanced short practice. Namaste. From downward facing dog, now we lift the left leg up as much as you can, but keep the hips square. And now lift on top of ball of your right foot, bring the left knee to your chest, really, really, really hug it to your chest, and then send it up again. One more time, come to the ball of your right foot, really hug the left knee to your chest, this time to your left armpit, tap it and then move it out one more time bring it this time to the left tricep even towards the elbow tap it bend the elbows we flying to bakasana flying bakasana right leg lifts up for one two now jump to chaturanga inhaling up dog Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, come to the ball of your left foot. Pull the right knee to your chest and carry the shoulders forward. Send the right leg up. Inhale, exhale, pull the right knee to the chest. And move the shoulders forward. Inhale, right leg up. And now again, come forward. Tap the right knee to the right armpit and then send it up again. And the last time, now we bring it behind the elbow. We bend the elbow forward, finding our flying bakasana for three, two, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog, exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bring it between the hands, reaching up for the high lunge. Inhale up. With exhalation, this time we do the twist, tugging the right elbow to the outer edge of the left knee. You can either open your arms or you can either interlace the fingers. 
and if you can you can drop the right heel down when you drop the right heel down left hip is gonna stick out pull the left knee inside don't allow it to stick out and find the twist through the spine for three more breaths two one and then gently unbind the hands find your high lunge inhale with exhalation hands down left hand goes back but left leg don't goes all the way down we lower chaturanga but leg stays up we exhale knee to forehead we inhale left leg up we lower down we exhale knee to head we lower down left leg up last time knee to head and we lower down all the way to the full chaturanga inhaling up dog exhaling down facing dog and then inhaling lifting the right leg up exhaling bringing the right leg between the hands lifting up for the high lunge inhale all the way and exhale twist and find the dip lengthening to the right side and from here you can open your hands and feet or you can interlace the fingers for three more breaths you can drop the left heel down and you can try to stick the right butt in last breath coming back to your high lunge again inhaling up exhaling hands down sending the right leg back find your plank exhale to chaturanga inhale to up dog exhale to downward facing dog inhale to plank lift the right leg and drop it to chamatkarasana gently pushing the floor open the chest reaching the right hand down coming back to chaturanga inhaling up dog exhaling downward facing dog inhale to plank left leg this time goes back find your Chamatkarasana, Chamatkarasana, lifting the chest up, trying to reach far away with the left hand for three, two, one, and then gently coming back to Chaturanga, and from here lower the chest down and lift. The chest gently up finding the hands a little bit to the sides using the lower back as much as you can keeping the chest lifted pushing the lower belly down inhale and with exhalation we go all the way down now from directly from here and also in the continuous part of the movement we're moving to chamatskarasana from chaturanga so we're gonna push first with the right leg we're gonna fall towards the left now find your chaturanga and with the right leg we fall towards the left side we open the chest chamatkarasana and we come all the way down to chaturanga and we push with the left leg to the right side and we come all the way to chaturanga pushing with the right leg and then rolling to the other side and then chaturanga pushing with the other leg and then opening for chamatkarasana one more each side we have lower down push right hand down open chest lower down 
Chama Chaturanga, push. Chama Skarasana, lower all the way down. And down, come back to Chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. And now gently lower the feet down. Come to any headstand position. We're gonna lift the feet straight 10 times. And then we have some other rolling backs after this. Now lift the knees off the ground and then start lifting double leg if you cannot do double leg two scissors for ten down up nine down ups eight seven six five four three two last one very nice stay up active core inhale with exhalation bring the knees all the way down to the floor find your child pose One, two, three, and very gently rising up, finding your position on your knees and on your heels, and then placing your left hand to left heel, and then pushing the hip forward, reaching backward with the right hand, opening your chest for the half come up. Exhaling, rolling the spine, changing the sides, reaching to the other side. Exhale, rolling the spine and reaching to the other side. Exhale, rolling the spine. Exhale, rolling the spine. Exhale. This time we roll the spine and we allow the left hand to find its position on the left heel as well. Finding the full camel. Four. Eight. Five. Keep pushing the hip forward. Lifting the chest up, activate through the back, open through the front for three, two, one, and then gently lowering the hip down, finding your hero, and for a couple of Breath maybe, one, two, lowering down to the child pose, lowering your chest maybe, only. And from here, lifting up, placing the hands forward, coming onto your Malasana. And we have a very similar way of turning. So this time, we are turning in Malasana, placing the left hand away from the hips, pushing it up and finding gently, so slowly, our bridge. I'm opening, op opening my chest and I'm slowly placing my right hand down. Finding my bridge. Couple of breaths. And then from the side that I came from, from the left side it was coming back to my malasana knees down pushing the hip forward and then from here this is very important part you need to keep the feet tucked don't forget 
leaning back, pushing the hip forward, bringing the hands down, reaching up for the bridge. One more breath, gently lowering the knees down, coming to camel, switching back to malasana. Right hand goes back, I roll towards the right side this time for my bridge, finding my bridge here for three, two, one, and then gently from the right side I roll again, finding my malasana, from malasana dropping my knees down and then pushing my hip forward, reaching my hands up, anteriorly tilting my hip, finding my position to my bridge pose, three, two, one, gently knees down chest up finding my malasana back again now rather than rolling and staying there we're gonna actively roll for three times from left we roll from right we come from left we roll from right we come let's go together start left and down i'm rolling giving some space to my back coming back to malasana Again, rolling, pushing my hip up as much as I can, creating space, malasana. One more time, up, creating space, coming to my malasana, dropping my knees down, pushing my hip forward, finding an eyes, opening through the chest, bringing my hands down, finding my bridge for three, two, one, gently bringing the knees back down, coming to my malasana, we roll from the right side, right hand comes down, reaching up, pushing the hip up, coming back from the left side to my malasana, right hand down, pushing the hip up, opening the chest, from the left side, malasana, right hand down, pushing the hip up, from my left side, Finding my malasana, last time, knees forward, reaching back, finding a nice lengthening, hands down to my bridge, four, five, four, stay with me Yogi, two, and now from here we're gonna drop to our to the elbow bridge, bridge from to the elbow bridge. And now five breaths, we are here for five, four, three, two, last breath, and then gently come all the way down and then relaxing your knees into your chest, hugging them in, ah, giving some space to the lower back. Lower back deserved this space at this practice. And now with the feet rolling back and forth and massaging a little bit more to the lower back. And I want you to while going back, reach your feet a little bit more like in Halasana and when you come forward, find your Navasana and then from Navasana, low, lower the feet down and go to your Pashimottanasana. Inhale, lift the chest up, bring the foot up to Navasana, gently lower the back down send the feet all the way back like halasana but not halasana i'm trying to keep my hip close to the ground and i'm here maybe pushing with my pushing my soles of my feet down so my hip is more to the ground and now from here i release my feet my feet comes to 
Navasana, lifting my chest up, gently rolling my feet down, and then lowering to Pashimottanasana. We have three more of this Navasana, back, back down, feet down, Halasana, coming back to Navasana, lowering the feet down, melting on to Pashimottanasana. Lifting the chest up, bringing the foot as well to Navasana. Lowering the back down, sending the feet back like a Halasana. Coming back forward, finding the Navasana again. Lowering the feet down and the Pashimottanasana all the way. Last time, chest up, feet up, Navasana. Back down, feet back, Halasana. Coming back, back to Navasana, gently feet down, find the deepest elongation through the spine, and last time rolling into your Pashimottanasana for 10 breaths. Here in Pashimottanasana, at this time of the practice, we are not pushing that much, rather we are just releasing the weight of the upper body on top of the lower body. And we are concentrating on the deep breath. The Ujjayi breath is going in and out, each and every breath, creating more space to deepen my Asana to deepen my practice, to my awareness, to my understanding. Last three. Gently lifting up, coming to on your back again and sending the feet up for the shoulder stand. And as soon as you find a nice shoulder stand where you are free with your neck and legs lifted up well and nice, you can gently drop the feet behind the head for Halasana. Keep the feet straight as much as you can. But I'll follow the movement within your spine. So here must be you we must be feeling it a lot in the lumbar and the thoracic area that is like inside a little bit towards your shoulder blades, breathing towards there. That you're expanding all your back, all your fascia that is surrounding you behind all the posterior lumbar. So inhale towards the back, towards the expansion, and exit out. Last two, inhale in, exhale Last one. and gently dropping the knees to the sides of your ears and five more deep breaths here also following the movement here that is a little bit came towards the neck and that you can feel all the back chain from your skull to your sacrum to your hip so keep the expansion going through the breath, inhaling as much as you can, and exhaling it out. Last three. Two. One. And then gently 
maybe reaching your hands towards your feet and grabbing them through the soles of your feet and gently melting your spine down vertebra by vertebra at the end we're gonna find our happy baby but very slowly it's like I want to communicate I want to feel each and every vertebra on the way coming down and here a little bit enjoying the happy baby the open hips for a couple of breaths you can straighten one feet and then the other like a baby playing with the feet Maybe getting a big throw to your mouth if you can or not and then gently finding our way back taking the right leg over the left knee and maybe if you can do the second lock doing your second lock lifting your hip and placing it towards the left side and gently rolling the knee towards the right and gazing to the left four five four three two Taking the knees back up and then changing the feet, getting the left leg over the right knee this time, doing the double lock and this time getting the hip towards the right and rolling the knees to the left and gazing to four. slowly coming back to center unbinding the hand feet and then sending the feet all the way to the front of your mat and finding your shavasana finding the ease finding the softness relaxing all the body into your Shavasana allowing the energy to flow into yourself to be able to observe that make the breath as an anchor of your Shavasana whatever takes you away Come back to the center, to the breath. In and out. And feel free to stay here as much as you want. And before you get up, remind yourself everything that you are grateful. the contentment of everything you find the deeper
peace of the mind. And that is just realizing this beautiful moment from the practice we made till the breaths that we take in. Namaste. Mm -hmm.